rattlesnake number two. And I was walking up these steps just now. And I heard the sounds of water. I see a hose. Wait a second, water. That could be a rattlesnake. And I was totally right. So I've got a rattlesnake in front of me again. Sarah's asking me what the plan is. And I'm thinking bamboo split because we don't have a George this time. It's just me and Sarah. Uh, That would be great. That's really what I need. <laughs> okay, no worries. So, where is the rattlesnake located right now? And is, is, is it possible for you to send me a picture of um, his text? That would be fantastic because I can help confirm if it is a rattlesnake. Luke, you took a picture with your phone that you can send them, right? Yeah. Actually, you have a gopher snake on your property right now. Oh, is that a gopher snake? He's making a good, convincing uh, rattle sound. They are very, very good pretenders. They even do the rattling. Yeah, I recognize that the pattern was different than the last rattlesnake we were handling on the property yeah. and we were able to relocate that one. So uh, relocation is not really as essential, is it? It's not, but if you wanted to make sure that the snake was off of your property and out of the way just for everyone's stress level to go down and to make sure that your dogs and any kids aren't going to get accidentally, um, like it's still not fun to get bitten by a snake no matter no. what kind of snake it is. It is not venomous, yeah. Great. Gopher snakes are not a venomous snake um, and they, they pose... No harm to humans beyond getting um, possibly bitten just because they might right. try and defend themselves that way. What kind of um, fangs do they scary. have? Do they have the hook fang like the rattlesnake has? or They don't. I believe they are a rear fang species. Oh, okay. They don't have um, hypodermic type. Yeah, fish. those are scary. Yeah. I feel pretty good about taking care of it from here. Thanks so much for your time. My pleasure. Always happy to help. Thank you so much for calling, too. We really appreciate you. Have a great rest <laughs> of your Sunday. Thanks. Bye. All right, you too. Bye. Okay, bye. What an adventure this is, living on the mountain. So there you go, folks. We've got a gopher snake on our hands. It's not like we don't have anything to deal with, but we are not as frightened. And my goal is to encourage him downhill now. What a great time we have living on the mountain. Thanks, George. Thanks, Tom. I'm respectfully asking you to go this way. Hi! Hey. He struck the split. There we go. This is what you can do. Come on, Mr. Okay. Gopher Snake. Go find some more gophers. You're okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Right, I here. got this, folks. This is very difficult to hook you. Unless he cooperates. Co corroborates or cooperates? Cooperates. Okay, I got him. You got him? Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Keep him away. Why are you dropping in there? Nope. Yep. All right, Tom. We got this figured out, didn't we? Last He's not a rattlesnake, so we don't feel threatened. I don't want Boone to be attacked by him. I think Boone's instincts are going to be great, and that he doesn't really go for snakes. Go for snakes. It was a gopher snake, you see. We took care of our own gopher, and we really appreciated the snake for showing up today and giving me a chance to do a little wrangling in a Sunday in Santa Barbara. A Sunday snake saga with Swigum, Sarah, and myself. Stay safe out there. Be gentle with the snakes. All right, ta-ta. Goodbye for now.